Talk, 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 talk. Verbal communication is the most common way we speak to one another. But the thing is, are we really using the two most important tools for communication? You know what I'm talking about, our ears. How well we listen can have a huge impact on the quality of our relationships. So are we really listening to what we're saying to each other? You're watching Emroy TV, stick around. I'm gonna share with you five simple steps in becoming an active listener. Now before I get started, make sure you hit subscribe so these videos can come straight to you. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it beneficial in any way, hit like and share this with a friend. And if you want to connect, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, and over at my blog. And if you love videos on productive living, health and fitness, and would love insight that I only provide through email, head on over to the blog and subscribe to my free newsletter. Now the reason I bring up this topic is because I believe communication is the most important component in any relationship, professional or not. In just a bit, I'm going to be sharing with you a step-by-step -step process in becoming an active listener. But first, I want to say this. The fact is, you really aren't listening to what I'm saying right now. Everything you're hearing is becoming an interpretation. What you're hearing is either aligned, against, or neutral to your beliefs. And more often than not, when people talk to each other, we're often distracted, half listening, or thinking about something else. We listen to obtain information, to understand, to enjoy ourselves through stories, and to learn. While many people claim that they're good listeners, the result of how well we listen is reflect on how often we get into conflict or a misunderstanding. Let's say we do get into a conflict with a friend, coworker, or spouse. When we're in this situation, more often than not, we're busy formulating a response so we can win the argument instead of paying attention. Here's the deal. Hearing is a natural gift that many of us are blessed to have. Listening, on the other hand, is a skill. Most of the arguments that we tend to run to are simply that, misunderstandings. When we're in a conflict, we often contradict one another. We deny each other's description of the situation. This causes defensiveness, lashing out, or withdrawal. Active listening allows you to respond to the person that improves mutual understanding. Becoming a better listener not only improves understanding, it builds trust and tends to open people up. This also allows you to get to a resolution quicker instead of trying to go around in circles, trying to explain yourself to one another. So here's how you can be an active listener today. Number one, pay attention. Give this person 100% of your undivided attention. This means eye contact, body language, and presence. Be solely focused on what this person has to say. Don't mentally prepare to rebuttal. Two, be involved. Use your own body language to show that you're really engaged with what they're saying. Looking side to side, looking over them, looking down, just comes off as insincere. A lot of what's being said is also being communicated through the body, so pay attention. Now, I know this can be a little tricky, so here are a couple tips. Make sure your posture is open and inviting. Crossed arms can normally read as being closed off. Encourage the other person to continue by saying uh-huh or verbal comments such as yeah, gotcha. Listen to their body language. Back. Our personal beliefs can filter and distort what we hear. To improve our skill as listeners, it's our responsibility to really understand what's being said. Here's how you can do that. Say that you're in a conflict that someone's telling you that they don't like how you treated that one person. Here's how you can reflect on what they say to you. What I'm hearing you say is that you didn't like how I treated that person. Reflect on what's being said. Ask questions to clarify points. What do you mean when you say, and then you repeat what they just said to you? Or you can say, is this what you mean when, so on and so forth. Repeat what they just said. So summarize what they're saying from time to time. And if you find yourself responding more emotionally to what someone said, say so and then elaborate. I may not be understanding you correctly and I find myself taking what you said personally. What I thought you said is, is that what you meant? Step four, don't judge. Interrupting is the hugest waste of time. It frustrates the person speaking and limits the full understanding of the message. Allow that person to finish each point before asking any questions. And don't interrupt with counter arguments. And five, respond appropriately. Attacking the person or putting them down does nothing for anyone. The whole point is that you're gaining information and a perspective. So be open and honest in your response, but also be respectful in how you give your opinions. I know this is all easier said than done, but like I said, it's a skill. It takes a lot of hard work and determination to become a really good active listener, especially if you've never practiced it. Put aside of how you think things should be and really focus on what the person has to say. The more you practice this, the more you improve on your communication and maybe even your relationships. Remember, every step can lead to a small win and every small win can lead to a big victory. And that's it for today's video. 
If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe so these videos can come straight to you. If you found this video beneficial or helpful in any way, hit like and share this with a friend. Also, I love hearing from you guys, so make sure you head on over to the blog and leave a comment, share with me what you think. And if you love videos on productive living, health and fitness, and would love insight that I only provide through email, make sure you head on over to the blog and subscribe to my free newsletter. That's it for MRI TV, and I'll catch you guys later. How well we listen can have a huge so impact a, on the quality so of our relationships. Hit like and send path. Uh, excuse me.